Okay, so the format method of the string class allows you to construct strings in a slightly different manner than adding them together using operators. You basically define a format, which would be the outline of where all of your objects are placed, and then you provide the method with an object array. And everything in this object array is going to be placed somewhere within the format so long as you have the uh, these little indexes in place. So I've got zero here, disregard the dash or the comma 50, and then I've got one and then two, and they're surrounded in curly braces. These represent where the objects in the object array are going to be placed. So zero would be the first object, one would be the second, two would be the third. And the format method uses parameters or params, and this allows you to pass in sequential arguments like like I have here or you can use an array or just pass in a single object. Uh, params just increases the flexibility of the method and right now I have been or I've passed in the product name that will be where the zero is and then the product version that will be where the one is right after the V in the format and then the size. And that's going to be after the size equal to in the format. And I do not have to call toString because this is done in the format method. You can also provide the method with formatting information. Uh, I don't know how to do this and I never really have found a use for it, but it uh, basically is a colon and then n and, and then zero and it looks something like that. But uh, if you're interested, just take a look at it, the MSDN documentation and uh, you might find some use for it. If you have a very simple string that you need to construct, you should probably just construct it using the plus operators. This is a bit more uh, easy on the eyes. You can just read it out as it is, but if you have an elaborate array of objects that need to be placed strategically in a string and whatnot, then the string format method is what you want. It offers flexibility and elegance in a way that using the plus operator would not. Here is the result and I've got a big space here because I have a 50 alignment, right alignment. I do believe this is in pixels and if you do a negative number then it's going to be a left alignment which I don't know how is going to work, work out because everything is already aligned to the left. Um, you do this with a comma and then a number right after the index and you'll get your alignment. 